this is Ernie Johnson. Welcome to 2K Sports. Glad to have you with us and the legendary Shaquille O'Neal sitting alongside. In this game, we'll see the Brooklyn Nets going up against the Wizards in Washington. Taking a look at the Wizards, these guys are playing good basketball with seven wins in their last 10 games, and they like their chances tonight. You look at this Washington Wizards roster. Boy, there's a lot of athleticism, some really entertaining players to watch. Shaq, who grabs your attention? Well, it's a lot of exciting players on this roster, Ernie, but John Wall is the most exciting guy on this roster. He can break angles with ease and just embarrass defenders, and his jump shot is getting a whole lot better, Ernie. You like him over Bradley Beal? Well, Beal is becoming my favorite player to watch. You know, his stroke, the way he shoots it, <clears throat> picture perfect. A lot of stuff to like on that Washington squad. That'll do it. Both teams ready for tip. We send it to Kevin Harlan. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Hollywood Sports. Hey, guys. We have another subscriber game request. He wants me to play as the Brooklyn Nets, and we will be going up against the Washington Wizards. Here we go. Take a look at the Nets. Challenging part of the schedule, and this is where they need to buckle down and take care of business. Checking out Brooklyn. The thing and again, they thanks they for clicking on this video. And Ray Bost, this video is for you, man. I told you I was going to bring it to you. You got it. To it for very long. They've been all over the place in, in terms of their identity. All right, got it. One to tip. Coaching staff, more than anyone else, Clark. A coherent strategy has to be in place or it's impossible to climb up the standings. So the Nets starting five. We've got Mirza Toledovic. Williams is out there at Bogdanovich. Then there's Alan Anderson, and it's Garnett at the center, locking down the middle. Just four to shoot. Fires it up. Oh, Williams nice shot. Good no, shot, Williams. Not a high-octane offensive team. They didn't average 100 points a game, but they were one of the more efficient teams in the league at the offensive end of the floor. And Wall kicks to Pierce. Now here is Humphreys. Not a lot of room. Pierce with a screen. Humphreys. Oh, nice pass. And Pierce gets it to go on the assist by Humphreys. I like that. Getting their offense started with a high quality look down low. There, Clark, I think the more points they can get inside today, the better off they'll be. And with the Nets and scoring, it's not how much you score, but how efficient you are in the NBA. And they were in the top five. In All right, Garnett. Work him, work him. Here's Garnett. 14 points from him, the last game against Cleveland. Oh! on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Stop ball. Beal dishes to Pierce. First 130 gone here in the first quarter. Anderson against Beal. Wall up top, averaging 18 points. Boom! Rebound by Williams. Points per shot, I like that stat. It's a true indication of what a team Clark is able to do on offense a lot of the time. Well, with the aging players they had, you knew the Nets weren't going to be an up and down team, a transition team. So they found ways to make the most of their offensive possessions last year. Beautiful cut to the hoop. He's getting anything he wants here already. The Nets have gone one of three for the field. I hope you enjoyed the game, Ray Boss. I hope you enjoyed the game. There's 53 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Right wing. Here's Bogdanovich. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. And it is very dangerous to leave him open like that. Lucky break for the defense that he missed it. Heel against Anderson. No good. Brooklyn trailing. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Here's Garnett. There's a shot, Garnett. Well, he had that tight separation there on the mid-range jump shot. Really good job of taking advantage of that. Williams against Wall. Works out with a screen on Williams. Outside, Wall. And stolen by Darren Williams. Here's Bogdanovich. And there you go. Good at the buzzer. Wow. Pretty shot without a second to spare. Remember what I told you guys. Drink so your liquids, man. Drink your liquids. Gives up a shot like that to close out a quarter. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. 
Nets lead by two. But and we got a close game here as we get back to the second quarter. And uh, from Brooklyn, guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? Boy, the offense has been so smooth. Everybody working together. And you can tell they're getting good shots pretty much every time down. Yeah, they're a well-oiled machine there. I mean, they keep the ball moving. They keep themselves moving. And as a result, they're piling up the points. Otto Porter Jr. out there with Miller. Then it's Rasul Buck. Then it's Kevin Serafin. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Wizards. Six on the shot clock. Here's Miller. That's good from 17 feet away. Miller's got the opening basket here in the second quarter for the Wizards. For the Washington Wizards, they come in off the loss to the Magic in Orlando. Jordan with a screen on Miller. They set the pick. Here's Gutierrez. And it's good. He planted his feet on the pick and shield the defender off. Solid screen right there that freed him up for the jump shot. Shout out to Ray Boss. Best season in recent memory of this last Thank you for being a solid subscriber, man. Fast they were out of the gate. They always seem to start on point. Miller kicks to Seraphim. Hollywood Sports is all about the subscribers, man. I really appreciate y'all. And up. Oh, nice block. They call a foul. Come on, man. Washington was a fast starting team last year. Top five in first quarter scoring and overall speed. That like, oh, ball. Catch, I thought at times opponents Clark off guard. And that speed is the key. I mean, you look at Wall and certainly Bill, Bradley Bill, John Wall. Pace of play very much um, something they emphasized and put pressure on the opposing team with the way they play. Andre Miller with 15 seasons under his belt. He says he thinks he could play until he's 40. And I'll tell you, with his style of play, it doesn't seem like a stretch. He's low to the ground. He plays with a craftiness that uh, really doesn't require a ton of speed. That free throw is good for now. And Andre Miller is really a crafty ball handler. It's amazing the numbers he's produced over his career without being a hot flyer, without being super fast. What he is is highly skilled, smart, tough, durable. He uses changes of speed. The strength he has has served him well as a post-up guard and also in being able to play through contact in the lane. And the first timeout call to the game for Brooklyn. And Steve, you talk about Miller's strength and his deceptiveness. One of the best post-up point guards in the NBA. Yeah, maybe the best over the course of his career. He's got that little bank shot from the mid post. Unbelievable footwork and spin moves. He's got all the tricks in his book. Get some point of emphasis for on here. here in the second quarter. Here's Gutierrez outside Jack. Jordan with a screen on point. Off the screen. Another one falls. Shot. Man, their offense is really cranked up in the second quarter. Yeah, they've got it going now. Above 60% shooting for the night, and it's going to be tough to beat them when they shoot it like that. The Nets with the lead. Outside Jefferson, he dishes it to Jordan. Pass to Gutierrez. The Nets working the ball around now. No good from Jack. The defense needs to play tight on him, and that's exactly what they did to force that miss. Well done. And let's now go to the sideline. We'll catch up here with Doris Burke. Doris? Well, guys, Kevin Garnett is at the tail end of what has been a Hall of Fame career. Doc Rivers won a title with him in Boston and simply can't say enough. As Coach Doc says, I get very emotional. He's the best teammate, the most unselfish superstar I've ever been around. Every coach should be able to coach KG just once to see what a true team player should be. Kevin, what a compliment. A guy you want to play with and hate to play against. Doris, thanks. Rocket two, a fadeaway, and they'll turn it over. Could not get off the shot. Shot for second violation. And the Wizards are going with a whole new group out there now. Brooklyn making some changes. Wizards have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. And Wall. Here we go now. Humphreys. And good. Coming off the try, Garnett. Humphreys has got his first bucket of the night. Great pass. John Wall is really good at finding the open man. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Williams kicks to Anderson. The shot. The jumper for two. 
Anderson's got the lead up to two now for Brooklyn. 12 seconds left in the second quarter. Outside, Wall. The 11 footer can't get it to go. And we're through two here and a good one. Nets out in front. They're up by two. And a chance now to send you over to Doris Burke standing by on the sideline. Doris? Well, I'm here with Kevin Garnett. And Kevin, how does this team navigate the ups and downs and pressure to come out? Well, she got to look up like the big Garnett. In the middle of here tonight. Nothing's easy. You know, we do it together. We don't do it individually. And when we do, we look bad. Uh, but when we do it together, we look pretty darn good. KG, thank you for the time. Guys, he's always preaching team. Thanks so much, Doris, and we'll step away briefly, but get you right back in there for the start of the third quarter after this break. Wow, we're shooting 60%. Five rebounds, three assists. No free throws. Andre Miller, four points. Oh man, I hit the button by accident. Here we go now, the start of the third quarter, welcoming you back in a closely contested. I want to change something real quick here. There we go. First half so far. Are they the New York Nets now? Well, I guess it's still Brooklyn. I mean, Brooklyn, New York, I guess. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Washington Trailer. Well, we've got a moment that's up the floor. Brought to you by Gatorade All Field Up for the second half. So for Brooklyn now, we've got Williams. Nice Here's defense. Nice Garnett defense, Nets. Anderson. Next Garnett. And it's Bogdanovich in at the shooting guard. Oh, good steal. Garnett. Oh, man. And that comes off the assist by John Wall. Humphreys has got the first basket of the third quarter. Come on, Garnett. You had to steal, baby. Here comes Darren Williams. Right now averaging 17 points a game. John Wall is becoming very efficient running right the pick and roll. He got a nice pull up from the right elbow. If the defender decides to sag off or go under the screen. And if they play up on it, he can blow right by him. So. Because of his finish. Get the ball! That's a tough cover. For the lead. Outside Pierce. And Wall kicks to Pierce. The pass to Beal. Shot clock at six. And Wall. Here we go now. And the shot is to Nice left hand. Wall's got his first points in this one. Double spin move. And Wall has some good big men to work with running that pick and roll. Nene, very mobile. Steve, a great finish. Yeah, and of course, Martin Gortat spent a couple years running the pick and roll with Steve Nash in Phoenix. So, you know, he's had some pointers for Wall, too. All in all, you love to see the chemistry that has developed. Hey, Ray Boss, you didn't tell me who your team was, man, but uh, in for Brooklyn. let me know in the comment Dennis, section. You know Are work. you rooting for the Nets or the Wizards? You know, most times he knocks that one down. Beal dishes the wall. Outside Pierce. Gorchop with the screen for Pierce. Oh man, they're killing us in the paint. And a big look. He lays it in. They got on this roll a while ago and they just haven't looked back. Now here's Williams. Come on, guys, run the play, run the play, run the play. Off in the third quarter. Anderson outside. Let's it fly from 18. Oh, good rebound, good rebound. Here's Plumley. Oh, Here's love man, man. love man. It's a great play under the boards for him. And, you know, that's the standard that he sets. It seems like all those second chance points, I mean, they're there for him, game in, game out. Well, it looks like the Nets got a steal, taking Mason Plumley with the 22nd pick in last year's game. Yeah, you know, he's listening Remember to Remember, guys, seven, drink your liquids. Seven feet tall and shoes. I don't even know why they measure these guys without their shoes. You might be one in time, but drink your liquids. Good You're playing points. the game in your shoe. So that should be what you get measured at. I mean, every time he gets the ball close to the rim, he's looking to throw it down. I mean, I love his athleticism and the fact that he has a don't seven. Oh! Where did Paul? For a young guy. 
Man, that was a nice pass inside. What a great year for the Plumley brothers. Kyle Plumley. His older brother Miles uh, also emerging for the Phoenix Suns, starting at center. Both of them seen as long shots to contribute, but uh, far exceeded expectation. And Mason, growing up in a small town in Indiana, starting to get used to playing in the big city. And they love his size and athleticism off the bench. Gortat never really felt at home in Phoenix, it seemed, but he got a lot of his bounce back to his step when he was traded to the Wizards, where he was really a great fit alongside that young backcourt. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And the Wizards trading a Mecca Okafor and a draft pick for Gortat. Clark seemed like a pretty good move at the time. Yeah, you know, Okafor had that season-ending injury, the Wizards making a push for the playoffs, and they were able to re-sign Gortat this offseason. Here's Jack. That is shot. Forced it. Difficult shot from mid-range, and the defense is all over. Oh, I like the close out there, Steve. Well done. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. All passes to Butler. Back the wall. Goes back up. Box out, guys. Box out. And the Wizards lead by six. If you battle for the offensive rebound and come up with it, you're guaranteed a high-quality shot on a follow just like he got there. Ooh, nice. Nice, Williams. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. Wizards lead by three. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. Time now to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. Today, Steve, it's a big man winning the honor. And it was a no-brainer. This assist was really out of this world. He had a great understanding of the situation and where the ball had to go. And Brooklyn has possession. It's a three-point game. Wall and Beal together in the backcourt. Chris Humphreys is out there with Gortat, and it's Pierce in at the three, the small forward. That's the group on the floor right now. Oh, man, got to make those plumbly. With that much space off the pick, you've got to drop that in. Yeah, you got to make that one. I mean, that's a high quality steal. shot you should make nine out of ten times. Pushing it up. Here's Plumley. Brings the jumper to finish the break. Plumley's got the first field goal of the fourth quarter here for Brooklyn. The Wizards shooting 53% from the floor. They're locked in. Wall against Jack. And Wall you like Sim style gameplay? Go ahead and subscribe to Hollywood Sports. I tell you what, you don't want to allow too many of those kinds of baskets with the game on the line. Now, this is when defenses have to protect the basket with everything they've got. Force the offense to shoot from the perimeter. And Jack kicks to Anderson. From 11 feet away. Get in there. And a big bounce off the rim, but it sinks right in. Seven points for Williams. I mean, where's the defense? I mean, this has been pathetic at both ends. Yeah, it has been pathetic defensively, but it's been exciting from an offensive standpoint. But if you like defense, then neither That's one foul. of them deserves a win. And no question, he got bumped on that shot. Definitely no room for discussion on that one. Well, where? In a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Washington. Well, I got to say, one thing that stuck out all game is the consistent good bang, good bang. they've got. Let me shoot that brick wall. Is their points in the paint. They're getting the ball inside and converting on a regular basis. The Nets making the switch here. Jefferson's checked in. Oh, good miss. Good miss. Good miss. The Nets have gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. All the way, Williams. Good move. Good move. Yes. And the Nets lead by one. And he goes old school on with the finger roll. Bogdanovich is checked in for the Nets. Find out what goes for the Nets. Oh, guys, D up, D up. Oh. Oh, they gonna call a foul on that. Give it John Wall foul. I thought for sure it would be blocked. Not 
this fella, Steve. Not at this stage of the game. He was going to get to the rim no matter who was standing in the way. Here's a tail that just checked in for Jefferson. Tremendous job at the foul line as usual. You can always bank on him in these situations. Ball against Williams. He kicks it to Garnett. Last year, Bogdanovich. Oh, you better have called that foul, Real. Easy call there. No question about that one. You can hear the impact from where I am. Oh, hoo -hoo. And that narrows the gap to one. That was close. Hey guys, I tried to play online, guys. It's just, you know, a sim gamer don't belong online, man. Unless you're playing with some sim-like players. All right, get back, get back. Big man Garnett. Get out on him. Get out on him. Let him take that shot. No fouls. No fouls. No, 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 no. Ah. Oh, no. Bad shot. Oh, nice pass. We need that three. Now you think so. And this game is theirs for the taking. Come on, Wall, miss. Come on. Come on, brick another one. Brick another one. Drops the first one and that ain't going to happen again. He bricked two free throws in a row. So he gets them both, and it's a seven-point game. Perfectly done at the strike there. And brings the lead up to an even more comfortable level. So the team's changing it up here. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. Here's Washington now. They're on a nine to one run. And then we can do now. Miller outside. So run the clock out. All right, Ray Brock, Ray Bost. I hope you enjoyed this game. I played with the Nets like you wanted me to against the Washington Wizards. I didn't pull it out. I didn't know what team you were rooting for. But hey, guys, it was for you, man. I appreciate you being a subscriber. If you want to see another matchup, just let me know. Put it down in the comment section. And I hope everybody enjoyed this game. And as always, until next time, everybody, I am Hollywood Sports. Defense is always a great starting point, Bradley. Thanks for the time, guys. Thank you, Doris. And folks, that about concludes our broadcast tonight. For Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching as we leave you with our Jordan player of the game, John Wall.